I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. Just finished this piano up and it's going out to be delivered tomorrow. And I think they're gonna really, really love this piano. This is a 1907 Lester. I believe I did a before video. I can't remember, it's been so long. It's been like close to a year since we started on this project. And, and this piano just turned out incredible. And it's, it's a beast. It's a really, really big piano. Um, as you can see, let's see. So most of these pianos, if you can do a 360, these are all pianos from that same era. And none of them are this tall except for the one right next to it. That's a big Steger, which, which the Stegers that we've done are also behemoths like this. So super cool. Even, even these two, George Steck, check this one out. Come on, come on over here. This George Steck is, is a beast. And, and you can see it's still, it's still about, I don't know, an inch and a half or so below this Baldwin. And the Baldwin is about an inch and a half below that, that Lester. Oh, actually, here's, this is a good, since you're there, check out the back. Well, and it also rolls very smoothly. Look how beautiful the back is. All of that has been, has been beautifully blasted and then lacquered and with these new casters if you've ever tried to push a piano around um, that hasn't hasn't had these these new casters on you know that it's not easy but when the new casters are on it rolls around nice and smooth okay so we did this is this is one of those pianos that's the full the full meal deal they, we, we have different levels. If, if you've watched this channel before, you, you probably know that we have different levels of restoration. And this one is the full, the full restoration on the guts and the full restoration on the finish. So first let's look at the finish. Looks amazing. This is a replica decal of, of what Lester used at the time. And then a lot of this other stuff, like the brass, these are new. These brass knobs are new. But like this has been, this has been buffed. The um, hinges and then like the lock, those kinds of things have been buffed up and cleaned. Um, the uh, pedals, actually the, the pedals had holes in them. So we ended up just replacing those with brand new brand new pedals, which, um, which I actually kind of like. I think they look really good. So cosmetically, I think this piano is gorgeous. Continuous piano hinge, big beautiful brass hinge there. I think it turned out awesome. Then, Oh, let me turn that off. Then on the inside, the uh, piano is totally rebuilt. So let's get a shot of the inside. Okay. Love it. This is if I do say so myself, this is world-class work. This looks just awesome. And as, as you'll hear in just a second, it doesn't just look amazing, this sounds amazing too. This makes me very proud of all these amazing technicians here at the shop. We've got brand new hammers, and you can see how, how beautifully they're hung if you put the camera like right, right along, right along here, and you kind of sight along, you can see that you can put a straight edge right along there and right along there and in the back, and they're just in perfect alignment. Same with all you know, these others. Dampers are beautifully done. We usually like to install these tricord dampers, these, these dampers that are split here for the first, you know, six or eight notes because they just dampen more efficiently. They can be a little bit fussier 
and over over the long term they can not n not usually not a ton more maintenance but they can be a little bit more maintenance than these flat dampers that just seem to work regardless forever and ever into you know for decades anyway but these tricord split dampers they they're just so good they 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 work better and so i like to put those in and then these dampers here these are triple dampers which were not there originally but they also work much better than what was there originally. They're a lot longer, and so they spread out over more, more surface. They get more of the harmonics, essentially, is what go, what's going on. Okay, this plate here, that's it's an automotive paint, and but before the paint is sprayed, the whole plate is bondoed and sanded and repaired and patched and more sanding and more sanding, and then spraying the automotive paint that gives it that that gorgeous shine and then all of these letters have been blacked on the top and we've got the, the new decal on there or the new uh, the serial number strings are new another another good hallmark of, of good a good stringing job they're all uh, the height they're all even you've got three coils and they're tight all of those coils are really, really nice and snug up against each other. And you can see they, all of the beckets, which is where the string goes into the hole right there, they all line up um, consistently. And on this piano, it's approximately 11 o'clock. You can see they're all right around 11 o'clock. They just line up like soldiers. That's good, good string work. Okay. Then the keys, the keys we're redone. Beautiful job, Ezzy. Ezzy did the keys on this one. She's a she's very particular. She talks about her inner German coming out when she does her keys because they have to be just so. And there, there's a lot of very precise work that goes into doing keys. So they've got to be lined up, you know, in just the right way. These notches have to be exactly 90 degrees. If they're, if they're 89 degrees or 91 degrees, it's obvious. You can tell. Same with, same with these notches lining up with each other. The, the notch, you know, where this lines up with its neighbor, the notches need to be lined up exactly to each other and not one a little bit higher, a little bit lower. You should be able to draw a straight line all the way across the notches. For, for good string job, or sorry, good good key job rather. Okay, let's check out the trap work and the soundboard. You can see we've got some soundboard repairs, which when there's when these when the soundboard cracks. You can repair it, and, and you can see that dot in there. That's where the rib separated from the soundboard. And so we glue it back together, but we also dowel it so that separation will never happen again. This bridge cap has been replaced. You can see the old bridge root here. That's in excellent condition. But the cap itself, right here, you can obviously tell the, the new wood. It's been lacquered, but it's still obviously new wood. That's been, that's been replaced. We use a Mylar template to get exactly the exact locations of every pin and then duplicate that onto the new bridge cap. And, and the, the bridge cap that we use is a super high quality um, pin block material that we get from Andre Bolduc. bridges, all the trap work, everything having to do with the pedals, all of that has been sanded down and cleaned and polished and looking just awesome. Okay, let's play it. All right, let's take that out.
has a powerful sound that gets back at what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. This piano is huge, it's a behemoth, and it sounds like a behemoth. I like it. The touch is just nice and smooth and easy, and I, I mean, it's, it's actually a little bit on the light side, believe it or not, for a piano this big. Nice little brass comes down. Just kind of quiets it down a little bit. Probably cuts the decibels by, I don't know, 20 or 30, something like that. Cool piano, really cool piano. Really proud of our work here. Thanks for watching.